Hello everyone. A long time no post. Please pardon me. Welcome to Everything Choir. Yes. We are having a new name on this platform. It used to be Vocal Makeover, but then I realized that um, we do so many things aside from um, you know teaching us techniques and things that you know affect our voices as choristers. We talk about gist and everything that has to do with this ministry. So I just you know just got it with my husband and I was like, no, we need a change of name on this platform. So our new name going forward is everything choir with Anumide. So let me know if you like that name or what you think about that name. So today's gist is about being prepared as choristers, like as a choir member, especially if you are a praise leader, please always, always be prepared. And this is why I'm saying this. For example, now in my church choir, we have roasters, right? Like for services, we have roasters for Sundays, we have roasters for weekly programs. And then, so it's just normal that if, for example, my name is not on the roster, I don't expect to sing, which is, you know, that's just the natural thing, yeah? But I realized that several times I've showed up in church, my name is not on the roster, but one thing, one thing, one thing, one thing, maybe the person I'm supposed to be isn't available, and then I'm called upon. Most times it happens several times, you get what I'm saying? So, but then recently, someone in my choir, you know, we came for weekly programs, and then she wasn't the one to take the praise and worship, but she's also a praise leader. So I, I find, I don't want to be like, oh, I'm always the one, you know, stepping into such shoes. So I now, you know, assign that to go lead. You know, initially she was like, no, 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 I'm not prepared. I'm not the one on the roster. But I should encourage her, I said she go. And then while she was there on stage, I saw that she wasn't just having it because she felt that she was not prepared. And that was the something to this video. And I felt, hey, this is what my choir community needs to learn. So if you're in the choir, if you're showing up at your duty post, like I always love to call it, you must always be prepared like like a soldier yeah so you're coming to church whether you're on the roster or not just come prepared with a, with a prepared heart and as i was thinking you know ruminating on this i realized that it would be very difficult for you to um do well when you are called to lead suddenly if you have not been preparing in the secret place you know what i'm saying and your secret place is your place of fellowship with God. As a chorister, you don't only prepare when you're on the roster. And I think that is what most people do. Oh, so if you're the one taking solo, if you're the one to the praise and worship, so you are, you are more conscious, you begin to look for lineups. No, be prepared. Always be ready. In your bathroom, you're singing. Um, your morning devotion, your quiet time, you're singing. One thing I also do is, as I go about my outros, I'm playing music back to back, so somehow, somehow, something is entering into my system. So most times when I'm, I'm called upon to lead and I'm not the one on the roster and you know after the ministration people will not be like, wow, see the way you led as though you, you already planned it. And I'm like, I'm always ready. That is the, that's the spirit we should carry as choristers, as praise leaders. Always be ready. In fact, I'm smiling now because there's even been times that I've been invited to maybe birthday parties, events. Now, I wasn't invited to come and sing. Maybe just come and attend parties, come and enjoy yourself. And then I go, and they probably maybe, in some occasions, probably they just wanted to use DJ sound, and then they now realize that the DJ is not DJing, and they will just call us stand and come and lead. And by God's grace, I will not come and say, ah, no, 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 ah, I did not plan, we did not tell me before. No, I'll just go. And by God's grace, the delivery is always, always fantastic because by the grace of God, I've done my due diligence in my secret place. So you can't joke with your secret place as a chorister, that place of personal fellowship. That's where you get inspiration. And in fact, sometimes maybe I'm in the kitchen, a song drops in my heart, I'm really going to type it down on my phone. I have, maybe that's going to be another video, right? I have, you know, line up for every month like if like in the month of march now i have a file on my phone for 
match worship song, match praise song. So any song that drops in my heart, maybe as I'm doing my house chores, as I'm maybe I'm even listening to a song, and then I feel like, oh, this song is really vibing, and then just begin to have line of, I get my phone and I type. So if I show up in church like that and they say, oh, come and sing, all I just need to do sometimes is to just glance through my phone. I can just have one or two songs to start with, and I'm good to go. So I, I want to hope that this video has been very helpful. I'd like to know what you think in the comment section. So please, please, always, always be ready. As we have, we have been told, even as Christians, we have to be ready for the coming of the Lord, yeah? We don't know when Jesus is going to come. He's going to come like a thief in the night. We are supposed to be ready. So also, as choristers, always be ready. So that the next time you are called upon, you will not give the excuse that, oh, I'm not prepared. I'm not the one on the world star. So see you next time on Everything Choir. That's our new name now. Don't forget. Bye for now.